Hey everyone, welcome to Health and Fitness Simplified. This is John Rennie. I hope everyone's doing well. Today I would like to talk about another myth buster, which is cardiovascular training is a must if you want to lose fat. This could be general body fat or it could be fat on the abdomen, belly fat, what everyone's looking at today, trying to get six packs or at least four packs, abs. So to get abdominal muscles shown, everyone mostly believes cardiovascular exercise is the way forward. So a lot of us uh, try doing more of cardio maybe it could be treadmill it could be anything swimming cross trainers so what is the truth well cardiovascular exercise will burn calories it will burn fat but the truth is it will not burn as much fat only as compared to weight training. Yes, that is the fact of the matter. Weight training will only burn fat. It will not eat up your muscles. A few of us, a few of you listening to this right now might be shocked, but this is the fact that cardiovascular exercise will burn calories in general but it could be at the cost of lean muscle mass you would definitely lose a portion of muscle as well it's not going to be only fat if you are targeting at losing only fat the right training would be weight training the more weights, the heavier weights you would do with lesser repetitions. Let's say you are someone who is going to do weightlifting, uh, eight reps. That is the way forward to lose only fat. Even when we talk about losing abdominal fat, the more effective way is weight training, which is everything which could be squats, uh, it could be chest, back, bicep, tricep, shoulders, everything. If you have a good weight training session, it not only burns fat during the training, but it also burns fat for the next 16 to 33 hours depending on the kind of weight training that you have done this is called post burn during the rest phase you will never ever get this benefit from a cardiovascular training a cardiovascular training would burn calories in general not only fat and it will burn only during your workout the moment you finish that is about it it will not have any post burn weight training is the only form of exercise where it will continue to burn fat through a period of 16 to 33 hours it would depend on your gender male female it would depend on your age group it would depend on how much lean muscle mass you have in your body. The more muscle, the more lean muscle you have, the more post burn. And how will you have more lean muscle in your body? Obviously by only doing weight training over the period of time. Like an example is I've been training for more than 20 years now. So I 
would have developed X amount of lean muscle mass by weight training. I'm not against cardiovascular training. Cardiovascular training, you can probably do two to three times a week. This is more than enough. And you should never do cardio at high intensity. Because if you do that, for sure, you will lose lean muscle mass, which is not a good story. Because again, you will have to work towards it to gain lean muscle mass back. When you practice weight training, it's going to build your lean tissues. It's going to increase your skeletal muscle mass. And this in turn is going to give you a lot of benefits. Surprisingly, weight training also improves your heart health. It's not that weight training is only going to help you pop some muscles. It's also good for the heart. Research has proven that it increases, it, it helps reduce your blood pressure levels. So definitely weight training done the right way for X number of days in a week is going to give you better results when we talk about losing fat only not at the cost of losing the muscles you have developed. Women are generally worried about becoming monsters doing weight training. You don't need to worry. Women have much lesser testosterone in comparison to men. So how much ever you try, you will not get huge. In fact, for women, weight training is the perfect way to lose fat in comparison to cardio because women might not even realize that they have lost lean muscle and they put in so much effort and and eventually they may see uh, skin sagging you know they may not feel toned up even though the weighing scale is showing a much lower weight but they may not have a sculptured body if you want a sculptured body definitely weight training is what will get you there so it's a myth that cardiovascular exercise is going to burn more fat it's weight training that is going to burn more fat not only during the training period, but also after the training period. The post burn will increase as your muscle mass increases and your muscle mass will increase only by weight training. This is all a cycle. So it's all a loop. The more muscles you have, the more fat you will burn post workout. It's all linked together. So friends, ensure that you do some of the other forms of weight training. I would also like to make a video um, which shows home workouts. I know some of us are not going to the gym or some of us do not have time to go to the gym. But you can use certain home equipments light dumbbells there are techniques in which even if you do not have very heavy weights you can use your body weight you can uh, there are techniques in which you can actually burn calories and you can build muscle surprisingly even if you have only light weights at home i would be making a detailed video on that soon which is explaining how you can uh, build your muscles you can actually target those tissues which you would have never targeted even by doing very heavy weights in the gym so that is yet to follow I hope today's video was useful 
so please do combine both workouts do cardiovascular training but definitely do not miss on weight training you can you can train legs even twice a week it it will recover for sure and when you train legs ensure that you train everything including the calves a lot of us ignore training calves and then it looks really funny you develop the upper portion of the leg but the calf is like a flat portion i am talking from even personal experience i have ignored training calves in the initial years of my training and then i had to work really hard the beauty about calves is if you train them well it will be the same size of your bicep it can both will grow almost to the same size you need to train it well you need to train all portions hamstrings quadricep calves everything so which will help uh, your legs look really good uh, your glutes are huge muscles again so these are the places where you can build more lean muscle mass which will in turn have a higher rate of post burn fat after weight training i hope the video was helpful i hope it was simple to understand feel free to get back to me with any questions this is john reni signing off masalama